In tonight's Healthier Me, suicide is devastating at any age, but now suicide is becoming more prevalent among younger children. Haley Hernandez has more. And so I tell them we are really good at hiding it. Linda DeSosa battles her own clinical severe depression and seven years ago lost her adult son to suicide. Thinking about it, I said he went off for 20 minutes by himself, kind of quiet, but there was nothing else that seemed out of the ordinary. They were singing karaoke. He had a Santa Claus hat on. He jumped with a Santa Claus hat on. So it's a sad loss that she says made her angry and sent her fighting for laws to protect your children. She says it's important to acknowledge statistics show suicide is now plaguing younger, even elementary age kids. Austin, Texas mandating that teachers um, are trained on suicide prevention awareness. So if you have a teacher in English class seeing some really, really um, dreary uh, stories and you have the attendance officer, they're coming in late every day. If you've got everyone putting the information together, you may get the whole picture. I'm standing on one foot. As Suicide Survivors Day approaches on Saturday, the loved ones left behind across the world will watch this video. DeSosa hopes it reminds them to warn other people what to watch for. They start giving away things. They start talking to people about if they weren't there. The reason I have this grief is because I had him in my life. I would have this grief again for the joy of having him in my life. If you're dealing with thoughts of suicide, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. That number is right there on your screen, 1-800-273-8255. Still to come tonight, we'll take another look at your evening weather planner with Justin.